Hi everyone and welcome to Biology Professor. Today we're going to be talking about two different types of leprosy. That is lepromatous leprosy and tuberculoid leprosy and how they are distinguished from each other and what factors control the progression of disease in both of those types. Let's start by talking about lepromatous leprosy, um, sometimes it's referred to as L-LEP. It is the more severe type. So it's more severe, it creates numerous skin lesions. Um, so it's very sort of apparent that this person has something like leprosy. It's also um, characterized by significant bacterial growth. And that's just because leprosy is caused by a bacterium known as Mycobacterium leprae. And so when we say significant bacterial growth, we're talking about a lot of this microbacterium. Now, why is it more severe? Why do you have more bacterial growth, more skin lesions? It has to do with the type of immune response that is occurring. And in the case of LLEP, there is a weaker immune response. Specifically, there are two arms of the immune system. One is known as humoral, one is known as cell mediated. And in LLEP, it is the humoral immune response that is mainly trying to fight off this pathogen. And when we say humoral, we're specifically referring to antibodies. So it's an antibody-mediated immune response. And you might say, well, what's the big deal? Antibodies are good for us. They fight off lots of pathogens. Yes, that's true, but mycobacterium leprae is an intracellular pathogen. So it actually gets inside cells and that's what replicates. And antibodies are all extracellular. So antibodies are secreted by a certain type of cell known as a plasma cell, um, which is a type of B cell. So they get secreted and they are just floating around the outside of cells. And so if all of the mycobacterium leprae is inside cells, it can really hide from these antibodies. And that's why this is a weaker response, it's not very effective, and you get this more severe form of disease. Um, LLEP is also highly infectious to other people um, relative to the other kind. Leprosy overall is not actually that infectious, but this is the more infectious one of the two. And it's also sometimes called multibacillary. Bacillary refers to bacillus, which is the rod shape of the mycobacterium, um, and multi just meaning significant bacterial growth. So there's um, going to be lots of, of the mycobacterium inside the macrophages, which are the cells where they will, um, where they can actually uh, replicate inside. So now let's talk about tuberculoid leprosy, also known as TLEP. This is the less severe kind. It progresses more slowly. Um, there are fewer lesions, there's less bacterial growth, and overall tissue and nerve damage in people with TLEP are fairly rare. So it's, it's much less severe than the LLEP. Why is it so much less severe? Well, it's because it's characterized by a different um, type of immune response, and that is that stronger cell-mediated response, specifically via some a group of T cells called cytotoxic T cells. So cytotoxic T cells, also known as CD8 T cells, um, sometimes referred to as killer T cells, um, cytotoxic T cells are, are cells that will actually kill infected cells. So the mycobacterium leprae, as it is replicating inside a cell, uh, cytotoxic T cells can come along and kill that cell, stopping that replication process, and that's why it's a much more effective immune response against this particular pathogen. So uh, TLEP has a lower infectivity to others relative to LLEP. Sometimes it's referred to as posse bacillary. Posse come from the Latin for few or small. So again, few bacilli, few bacteria uh, in those macrophages. Now, you might be asking yourself, well, what, um, what leads to LLEP? versus TLEP, because they are the same pathogen. Both of them are leprosy, both of them are caused by mycobacterium leprae. And it turns out that what controls whether a person develops LLEP or TLEP during a mycobacterium leprae infection, uh, what controls which type they get, 
is actually their genetics. So a person's particular genetic profile, uh, which genes they have, which genes are active versus inactive, is what actually controls whether they will proceed with LLEP or TLEP. And so if you are interested in learning about some more uh, related topics, you can check out my playlists on epidemiology and disease and immunology. These playlists have videos on things like antibiotic resistant bacteria and Cook's postulates and disease vectors uh, and antibody structure and function and a lot of other pretty cool topics. So check those out and thanks for watching.